Joining me now is Walter Dorn, Professor of Defense Studies at the Royal Military College of Canada. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Heather. So let's begin with the change in the last year. How has this year changed alliances and diplomatic relations globally? Well, on the diplomatic front, Russia has become a pariah state. Um, it's isolated the United Nations with the last vote in the General Assembly being 141 countries voting against Russia. So I think that um, on, on that side, Russia is really on the defensive. And on the battlefield, they are not able to prosecute their offense. Ukraine has held them in check. And uh, Ukraine has shown itself to be a, a military power. And the West uh, has shown itself to be the arsenal of democracy, in this case, supporting Ukraine. And if you look at the NATO alliance, you'll see that, that it's actually strengthened. There's more unified than, than ever. And indeed, Finland and Sweden now want to join and have been, have been asking to join. And, and except for Turkey, it's almost certain that they will uh, join very soon. There was a lot of concern about attack on this, an attack on this one-year anniversary. How concerned are you about Russia's offensive in the coming days? Uh, coming days, I'm not that concerned about because they would have wanted to have achieved that offensive by the anniversary, this one-year anniversary. But I am concerned about a spring offensive, that uh, as the weather allows more um, mobility and the, the soldiers aren't frozen in their and their dugouts, that there will be a, a move on. There will be a move on the Russian side and the Ukrainians as well. I think the Ukrainians and Russians are both trying to find out the weak points on the other side. So they're uh, probing, and then they'll use that to be able to make offensives uh, very soon. Mm -hmm. Walter, Canada has pledged another thirty-two million dollars to Ukraine. How effective will this aid be for the country? Well, it's all welcome, but it's so small in comparison with the United States. The U.S. has pledged $80 billion, and uh, that $40 billion is in military aid. So when we're talking about tens and twenties of millions of dollars, you know, it's certainly welcomed by Ukraine, but uh, we could do much better. If you use the 10% ratio that we typically use between Canada and the United States, then uh, we should be up up at around eight billion dollars of contributions, and and be talking about hundreds of millions of dollars. We know Canada had already committed four Leopard two tanks. They announced today another four. So how much of a difference will these tanks make? These are excellent tanks, and they can really help in this coming spring offensive to punch through the defensive lines of Russia and be able to be able to seize and hold territory uh, because they're well armored and um, hopefully they'll be able to withstand the Russian attacks because tanks these days are quite vulnerable but they can have countermeasures and the Leopard 2s have some of those. So uh, with smoke and, and good tactics these Leopards can really make a difference on the battle battlefield. Walter Doran, Professor of Defense Studies at the Royal Military College of Canada. Thank you for your time and helping to break this down for us. At your service, Heather.